everybody, it's Brock from Consult Pro here, and over the next few minutes I'm going to show you how to get your web link online, how to set it up. Uh, it's going to be a straightforward process, I'm going to walk you through it step by step. So, first thing that happens after you sign up for web link, whether it be through the one month free trial or the you know, paid subscription, you're going to get an email from us. And within that email, titled web link account activated, are two links. The first link is the admin tool download. So this is where you go in, you choose your movies, you arrange them any way you want. The second link is the actual web link itself. This is the link that goes on your website. So the first thing that you want to do is forward this email off to your web designer, whoever's in charge of your website, and have them place this link on your website. And we've also come up with a number of badges and icons that say patient videos uh, that you're web designer can place on your website as well. The second thing you'll want to do is download the admin tool so you can start making changes right away. So I'm going to click on the admin tool download link. Then it's just a matter of following the prompt. So I'm going to click run, run again, next, next, install. Pretty quick process. Now I'm done. So I'm going to click finish. And when I do, it's going to bring me to a login page. Now all of your login information is found in your email. So I'm just going to type it in. Okay, now I'm ready to make some changes to my web link. So within the web link admin tool, there are two places where you can make changes. You can make changes to your contact information and your welcome message in the profile section. And you can change or choose and arrange your movies in the web link section. So I'm going to walk you through both. First, I'm going to go into profiles. So all my contact information is preloaded, but I'm going to change the welcome message. And say, hey, thanks for visiting. And set up. So when I've made all the changes that I want, and this applies to any change you make within the web link, you click Upload. I'm going to click on Upload. I'll say, would you like to save changes? Yes, I would. And do you want to save those changes to your web link? Yes. So as soon as I click Yes twice, my website has been updated. So all these changes are now on my live web link. I'm going to click Done. So now I can actually go in and start choosing the movies and arranging them any way I want. So to do so, I'm going to click on the web link icon. And now there are two things I can do within here. I can change the category names at the top. So these are all the categories that go along the top of your web link. And then I can select the movies that I want to go underneath of those categories. Now we have five sections already preloaded uh, covering all areas of dentistry, uh, but you'll likely want to make changes to reflect your specific practices and the procedures you offer. So the first thing I'm going to do, just as an example, I'm going to double click where it says hygiene. I want to change this topic area to tooth loss. Click OK. Now I'm going to remove any of the movies that are currently in that section. So right now there's only one, tooth anatomy. I click on Tooth Anatomy and select Minus, click on the Minus button. So there, now I have zero movies in that section. And now I'm going to start selecting the movies that I want under Tooth Loss. And I choose all these movies from the left-hand box here. So I'm going to scroll down to the Implant section and lots of Tooth Loss movies there. And I'm going to select Loss of First Lower Molar Consequences. I just double-click. And now it's added to that group under Tooth Loss. Now to preview these movies before you add them, all you have to do is select the movie and press play. This movie shows some of the consequences. So I'm going to add one more movie. I'm going to add the Bridge vs. Implant Tooth Replacement movie. Double click. 
And of course, you're going to do this for every section until you have everything arranged and organized the way you want. When you're done, just like with the profile section, you press upload. So you click yes twice, and your changes have been saved. And you can actually preview your web link by clicking on the web link URL link in the top right hand corner. And there we go, the two movies I selected under Tooth Loss. And after you've made all of your changes, you've uploaded everything, you press done to return to the main page, and then you log out. Now if you ever want to make changes in the future, so adding some new movies, uh, changing your contact information, whatever it may be, you can do so. All you have to do on your computer is locate the web tool, which will be in your console pro folder, open it up, log back in, and then follow the exact same steps.